Hey everyone, it's John here and in today's video we're going to take a look at how you can remove duplicates in your data set based on a single column. So in a previous video we looked at legacy tools in Excel and someone asked in the comments how can you remove an entire row based on the unique values in a single column. So let's take a look. First up, let's take a look at how we can remove duplicates based on a single column using the remove duplicates command. So here we've got a small data set and we can see that this model column here has some duplicate values. So here we've got CRV a few times. And what we wanna do is remove the duplicates based only on that column. So for each of those CRV models, we do actually have a unique row of data as this color column here has different values for each of those. But we wanna ignore the other columns and only remove the duplicate values based on this model column. So we can do that with remove duplicates up in the data tab. If we click on remove duplicates, that's gonna open up this menu here. And right now it's gonna remove duplicates based on everything. So here, all of our columns are checked off. We can uncheck those other columns and just leave model checked and press okay. And Excel tells us that five duplicate values were found and removed. Let's press okay. And so it's removed those other rows of data based only on the model column. Let's just undo that. And let's see how we can do the same thing with a formula. So Excel has a unique function, but if we pass the array of values of our entire table to the unique function, there's no way for us to specify to base the unique values only on a single column. And in this case, it's gonna return all of the data because all of the data is unique if you're looking at the entire row. Whereas if you're looking at only the model column, then it's just gonna return these five car models here as the unique values. Now for each of these, we can use XLOOKUP to return the first row for that model. So we can look for Camry in our model column, and then we can return the entire row. And when we press enter, we get the first Camry row here, even though we've got multiple Camrys. So essentially what we want to do is take this XLOOKUP function and perform that for each of these unique values. And we can't just do this. So that's gonna create an array of arrays and Excel can't handle that. So it's just gonna return the first value for each of those in the array of arrays. So what we need to do is use the reduce function to loop through our array of unique values and then return the entire row for each of those so we can use reduce and it's gonna take an initial value. Here, we're just gonna use an initial value of an empty string. And then it's going to take the array that we wanna loop through. In this case, it's gonna be the unique values. So we're just going to calculate that inside the reduce function based on our model column here. And then reduce is gonna require a function, so this is a custom calculation using Lambda that it's going to perform for each of the values in our array here. And this calculation requires two parameters, an accumulator and a current value. So the accumulator is all of the previous calculations. For example, this XLOOKUP that we're gonna perform and then the current value is just the current value in the array we're looping through. So it's gonna be our Camry, F1, etc. So for each of those array items, we're going to look up the value in our model column and return the entire row. 
But now reduce only returns the last item. So if we just enter this as is, then it's just gonna return the last lookup value. So in this case, it's our Jeep Wrangler. So what we need to do is stack each of our results as we're looping, and we can use vStack for that. And we're gonna stack our previously calculated or accumulated values from our lambda. So that's the A parameter with our current calculation. That's our X lookup. And let's close our reduce function. And now we get all of our results. So here's our first Toyota Camry result. Here's our first Ford result, etc. Now we do have this first row here from our initial value of this empty string. So we just need to drop that and we can use the drop function to do that. And we're just gonna drop the first row. And now we get the entire row, but only for the first unique value. So for example, if we add a new row into our table, let's just copy this row here. Then because that's a duplicated row, we're not gonna get that in our array. But if we change the model here, then that's going to appear in our list of unique items. Now, because we've used XLOOKUP here, so currently we're returning the first row, XLOOKUP allows us to return the last row. So inside the XLOOKUP function, we have some optional arguments that we haven't used yet. We have if not found. So we can return a value if nothing is found. Let's just add in an empty string. We've got our match mode. By default, that's an exact match. So we're gonna stick with that. And the last optional argument here is the search mode. And this by default is searching first to last, but we also have the option to search last to first. And that's gonna return the last row in our unique items. So when we press enter, you can see now that here, for example, this is the last CRV item and that's what's returned in our reduce function. Whereas if we search first to last, then the CRV that's returned here is the first row here. So this is just the first solution that I thought of. Maybe there's a much easier method. If you have a suggestion, drop it in the comments. We can also remove duplicates based on a single column using Power Query. So let's add our data into Power Query by going to the Data tab, and we're gonna click on From Table slash Range, and that's gonna open up the Power Query editor. And now we need to apply a few steps. So we're gonna select the Model column or whatever column you want to remove duplicates based on. And if we go up to the Transform tab, we have the option to group our data. So we're gonna select that. And here we're grouping by our model column. And then we're gonna group other data. And I'm gonna call this new column data. And the operation is not going to aggregate any specific column. We're just gonna return all the rows and press okay. And so now we've got our grouped model column. And then for each of those, we have a table with all of those various elements in it. So here for F-150, we've got a table with all the F-150 rows. Or for our Camry, we've got a table with all our Camry rows. And now we only want to return the first row. And we can do that by adjusting this M code that Power Query has produced to group our rows. So within table.group, we've got this each and then underscore and the underscore is essentially a variable for each of our grouped items. And so here we're going to use table.firstn to only return the first row of those grouped items.
And with this, we can choose how many rows to return. So in this case, we're gonna return one, but we could return the first two or three, however many we'd like. Let's enter that change. And now if we take a look at our tables, they all just have one row. So the first row, and we can delete our groupings and then expand this data column. And now we've just got those first rows in a single table. We can go up to the home tab and load this back into Excel. Let's put it into a table inside our worksheet here. And so there we go, we can remove duplicates based on that single model column using Power Query. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future Excel videos like this one, and we'll see you in the next video.